What's up, bitches? I'm McStud. And I'm Mrs. McStud. Gucci with the coochie. I just said that. I was like, that'd be fun to say on video. It's ridiculous. It's not ridiculous. I'm the Gucci with the coochie. You're Gucci with the coochie. Gucci. I mean, you go with the pussy. Oof. What? No. Yeah. Womp, womp, womp. This McStud wants my womp. Womp. <laughs> my wet ass man pussy. <laughs> Welcome to the McStud show. Uh, you know what? I totally had a topic. Oh, wait. What was my topic? Remember that? I said we're going to do it this week. We talked about it yesterday. Mm hmm. But I said we have to do it later in the week after football. Yeah. Oh my God. What was it? I don't know, but it is kind of Sunday football. And what time is it? 8.25. Okay, so we got 35 minutes before my alarm goes off. What was that? <laughs> oh, was some, was something to do with balls? Cause I was like, you just discussed that, and you're like, no, that's all other. Wasn't it something to do with balls, pubes? Uh, I remember. Shit. Anyway, it's NFL Sunday Night Football. Big day of games. Uh, fortunately for Mrs. McStud, her team won, and unfortunately for me, my team lost. It was towards the end, wasn't it? Got the new Cobra bottle. It's all brown. It looks weird. Um, I can't remember. That was towards the end. End. We had a oh fuck! I had a topic for the week. Okay, hold on. What? No, I was telling them. Oh. What? The you need to slow your roll, Miss McStud. You're going to be grounded for the night. You ain't going to get this dick. You know what I'm saying? Fuck it. How'd your calls do? Good. Good. Fucking good. Losers. Bitch, please. I'm pretty sure I watched the last minute and half of your game, which is all I needed to see was for them to lose. You oh, raggedy folks, bitch. Now I done laid my... Just Give me your chilling. fucking phone. You, you I, all, you all, and your, your. You, I got you feeling <laughs> some sort of way, right? No. Yes. How was your weekend, Mister oh, Stud? Shit, you can find it. How was your weekend? Good. Very good Actually, weekend. I didn't work and I had fun and I, relaxed a whole bunch. Didn't do a motherfucking thing till tonight. Yeah. Till today, I made chili. Yeah. It was kind of, and in a way, it's kind of a makeshift like a birthday weekend too. Yeah. Kind of for the weekend you kind of messed with yours, and for mine. I took the weekend off for my birthday too. Oh, did you? Oh, yes, that's right, you did. But oh. my birthday fell on like not Monday. No. It's like a Tuesday or Wednesday. I something think it was like a that. Tuesday. Yeah, something like that. Then tomorrow I gotta come up with something stupid to do for Monday Night Football when it's my birthday, and I can't do nothing dirty. I can't just like put a birthday can on my dick hole like Mr. McStud wants to do. I'm gonna do that behind closed doors. The fuck you are. And it's gotta be one of those square ones. No, we 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 it. I shit mean, don't stretch like that. It's not a pussy. Well, it's not an anus. It's going to today. No. <laughs> Ugh. Anyways, let's go over the scores for today's game. Games. Yeah, today's game. Which one, dumbass? <laughs> I swear, you need to get off my nuts. Is my son raging? He might be. He might be. He needs to be raging on that Chromebook. <laughs> well, it was. It might be under the blankets. I don't know. Anyways, let's start with the Jaguars and Bengals. Two teams that nobody gives a fuck about. Really. Right? I mean, I, I guess know. we are close to... We're, we're, we're than a, a decent driving distance of Cincinnati. So there are some Bengals fans, unfortunately. And the one Colts game we did get to go to was against the Bengals. And we sat in a crowd of Bengals fans. Wait. Remember that? Yeah. The oh, Cleveland. Yeah, those are free tickets I got from work, which are pretty cool seats. We got to sit like kind of close to the field by where the uh, Colts come out mm -hmm. at the end zone, it was. which is which is cool. And that was my first ever uh, football game I'd been to, which was nice. Mm -hmm. So yeah, the the Bengals beat the Jaguars thirty-three to twenty-five. No one cares. Uh, neither of them, well, the, neither of them will see the postseason. How about <laughs> that. <laughs> What's their uh, they, oh, the records? 
the Bengals are one, two, and one, and Jacksonville's one and three. <laughs> Essentially, they both lose. Yeah. That's, that's where we get that. If they don't lose, then they tie, which is worse than a loss, in my opinion. Oh, yeah. In NFL, you got to finish. Like, you make do. a definitive finish. I don't care. Kind of like. Win or lose. At least take the L or take the W. And yeah. No, don't pull that decision shit out. Fight. Mm-hmm. Exactly. So the Browns and the Cowboys, this one uh, really surprised me. A little bit because I dislike the Cowboys, and I always want them to lose. Uh, and the Browns kind of surprised me, because I figured the Cowboys would come up firing a little bit more. Yeah. But the Browns end up winning 49-38, to 38, which makes me fucking happy. Anytime the Cowboys lose, makes Stud's a happy man. Kind of like when the Patriots lose. They probably thought it was going to be an easy win, and they fucked around and didn't practice a whole bunch, and that's what they got. Maybe it's because they have COVID. Do they? I don't know. No, that's the Titans. Oh, Titans. Yeah. Their their game is postponed until sometime later, like tomorrow. No, that's no. The, the Titans and Steelers game is postponed for a few weeks. Tomorrow, the only reason the the Patriots game got postponed is because Cam Newton tested positive. Oh. So they're playing with a backup. All the other players tested negative. I think one player on uh But the other team that there's multiple players? Titans, yes. Oh. Mm-hmm. It was a goddamn mess. Anyway, Saints and Lions. It looked like the Saints might lose this one early on. They didn't? No, they won thirty five to twenty nine. Oh. I thought I thought they were gonna lose. It didn't look good at all. Mm -mm. Like how the fuck the Saints gonna lose the Lions? But the Saints haven't really been firing all all cylinders. This season either. No, it was last season. They like were Drew decent. Brees, what the fuck, man? I expect more out of him. Right. Because he went to Purdue. Baby. So I wake up this morning off subject, and Mrs. McStud hit me with a neutral zone infraction. What's that mean? You hit me in my neutral zone. I did not. Well, actually, she woke up and smacked me on the ass. Shift. She smacked me on my ass. I, I was absolutely like, did not wake up. I was not awake when I did that. Oh, well, you definitely did. Well, I... You were asleep when you did it? Yes. I thought you did it with intention. No, I didn't even know. <laughs> so I rolled over on my side. We're kind of cuddling. She puts her arm around me. Smack. I was like... Well, that's a good start to the morning. Let's see where this goes. And it did go good places. But damn, I thought you knew you did that. <laughs> she totally smacked me on my ass this morning. I'm like... It's unusual. I said I was having... To <laughs> we were up super late. How late? What time we go to bed? 6.30? 6, 6.30? 6, I thought it was between 5.30 and 6.30 probably. Somewhere in there. Was yeah. up, we were up late as fuck. Like, I even preheated the oven and we sat in here. And she's like, I'm not going to eat. And then I, you know, I was like, you know what? Fuck it. I'm really tired. But you should have ate. I should have ate. You were far worse off than I was. Yeah, so. I, was, I, was, like, I, uh, I had blood sugar issues. When I don't eat, it kind of fucks with me. And today, on top of, we had a lot of alcohol last night again. We were out by the fire and singing and doing dumb shit. But it was a really good weekend overall. Well, we did post some videos, too, on Facebook of us karaoke And then because he didn't post that it, he had no rights to the music beforehand. They muted it. They muted it. Yeah. So we just looked like idiots. That's like the music starts and then it goes silent. Stupid. Eve. <laughs> But it was fun, either way. My kid sat out there with us last night. It was going to rain. Yeah, she was out there singing. It was going to rain. We kept the wood in the, the vehicle. And then finally, it actually sprinkled a bit while we were out there off yeah. and on, but nothing major. And it went. The, the only reason we came in last night, really, because we thought one of the boys, her son had some friends over, it sounded like he yelped by the barn. See, I thought, was, I knew that was a coyote. Yeah, I knew it was too, but it sounded like, you know, yeah. it sounded like one of the boys. I was like, okay, that's close. And we were all kind of, I was like, no worries. I don't need you to come up here. And then I thought it ran away because I heard one on the other other side of the field. I'm like, okay, it's all the way down there. So I start walking around just to make sure this little bastard's not floating around because typically uh, they, they roam around individually. If they're in a pack, they're at a distance. Mm -hmm. They don't come up here. And then I hear the yelp back here again. I'm like, then I hear it over there. I'm like, okay. They were trying to uh, surround us a little bit. <laughs> and I don't ever come in from the fire for coyotes. No, you really don't. <clears throat> like, I was like, uh, I think when you go, me and my daughter looked at each other and we booked it. And, like, uh, you need to say no more. Like, typically I would have my pistol out there, 
but I didn't, and it was late as shit, and I was like, you know, maybe that's a good sign we just need to go the fuck inside. Because <laughs> that's the first time I, I knew they were being smart. I'm like, oh, and it's just us out there. I have nothing mm -hmm. except for some pieces of wood to try to beat them off with. <laughs> so I said, fuck it, fuck the coyotes, we're going inside. I usually talk you into staying outside when you hear them. Yeah, I get a little, I get a little skittish. Because typically they're on their own or they're in a pack. And if they're in a pack, they're down there, over here, and you know they're there. They're not over here and over here and over here. Yeah. I'm like, that's just weird. And we're the only people out at 5.30 in the fucking morning. Yeah. I was like, okay, let's be smart and get the fuck inside. Anyway, <laughs> Seahawks and Dolphins. The Seahawks win 31 and 23, as expected. Now, if the Dolphins had Dan Marino, that shit wouldn't happen. What's wrong with him? He's retired. He played in like the 80s. Oh. Early 90s. I think he retired. I just knew that name. I don't. Yes, you uh, all of them really. Do you remember Ace Ventura? Yes. He was in that movie because remember he, uh, I don't know if he kidnapped him or what. Yeah, they did kidnap yes, Dan Marino. I, yes, they did. Yeah. And that's where okay. uh, Finkel is Einhorn and Einhorn is Finkel. Lace is out. <laughs> and then she turns around she got the egg I she took a shit in the back of her panties because of her junk tucked back there Ew. remember that? yes mm, this mistake got wet no that would a, be something you would do she had, a, she had a wop <laughs> <laughs> Chargers and Buccaneers I was so happy to see the Buccaneers losing to the Chargers anytime Tom Brady, Brady loses it's a good day in his house mm -hmm. and not because Tom Brady's a bad quarterback he's a very good quarterback it's just damn, dude. That's and why we like to see them lose. Any team they're good. on, I mean, if it was on our team, yeah, we'd love them. But that's just, that goes with the sport. You got I respect his ability. He is a fucking amazing quarterback. He has been for almost 20 fucking years now. It might be 20 fucking he years now. He just needs to retire. Well, he's still fucking five fucking touchdowns with five different receivers. Get the fuck out of here. And they end up winning. The Buccaneers win 38-31. to 31. That's all I got to say about that. That game pissed me off. Next game, the Ravens. Versus the uh, team of Washington. <laughs> I still have a hard time saying the team of Washington. And their their logo is just a big yellow W. Um, the Ravens win 31-17. to And Lamar Jackson, in his, I think it was his second season, mm -hmm. become the fastest player to 5,000 yards passing and 2,000 yards rushing. He beat Michael Vick by like five games. Oh, my God. Yeah. But Lamar Jackson's a whole different beast than uh, <laughs> Michael Vick was when he played. I mean, it wasn't like he was, you know, having dog fights and shit. Mm -hmm. But uh, Lamar Does is like... Does that taste different? No, it tastes the same. It's just the, the bottle. Oh, I was just wondering because it Tip seems like you drink, drink it a little faster. Uh, typically, beer bottles put it in the brown bottle to keep the sunlight and shit out because it That's why I was makes wondering it good. If it but, I mean, Colt doesn't. Uh, green, uh, Mickey says green, you know, Steel Reserve, Magnum, don't fucking worry about that. They like, they know our alcohol is not the best, but, well, people buy it. <laughs> Which, I'm surprised Cobra went to the brown bottle. <laughs> not that it's bad, it's just not my favorite. Yeah. <laughs> but I do typically, sometimes I'll get it in the can. Like, I get you a Corona, yeah. like sometimes I just want a King Cobra in a can. Fuck it. All right, the Cardinals and Panthers. Uh, Panthers win 31 to 21. Don't give a fuck about them. Vikings and Texans. Vikings win 31 to 23. Ooh. Yeah. 31 right, to 23. 31. 31 oh. to 23. The Texans aren't doing so hot this year, are they? Man, I thought the Texans. Oh, yeah. The Texans are 0 4, and they got like the a really good receiver and everything. <laughs> like, they were fun to watch last season yeah, they at were. times. They were kind of exciting. And, you know, typically when you play the Texans, you got a little bit of a fight on your hands. And I don't know what this bullshit is. We can only watch one football game at a time. Only one football game is on. Yeah, for, like, the past, well, all season. All season, yeah. There's been, like, one game on, like, you couldn't just, like, flip back and forth the Fox. I don't know why they're not airing these games at the same time. So there's, like, one game you get to watch. And the only time there was another game on was a 4 o'clock game, and no one wants to watch the, it was the Giants and Rams. And the problem is the Raiders were on the same time as the Colts. So I had to pull the fucking Raiders stream up on the goddamn internet to watch my team have Please. costly mistakes again. <laughs> and they put back a fight to where they just had to get an onside kick. Like, yeah, they put they up did. a fucking fight. And they and, and I understand that's the, very, the, the chances of getting that are slim. But damn, had they not fucking fumbled and shit again. This is true. Fuck. It could have been he got mad. He closed <laughs> his did, phone. I, he goes, I was like, these motherfuckers. I, I said, shitty. Really? 
<laughs> and then you turn it back on a few minutes later. Yeah. Anyways, we'll get to that game. <laughs> Giants and Rams. The Rams beat the Giants 17-9. I thought that'd be a, a bigger score difference there. I expected the Giants to lose, but not like that. Right. Not, not, not that competitive. I mean, like Colton Bears end up, uh, the Bears end up scoring towards the end and got to try to go for an onside kick too. Like they tried to yes, turn it did. around. Yeah. And the Bears were undefeated till today and the Colts, what, three and one? Yes. Two, three and one. Three yeah, the Colts one. are three and, one. three and one. Now. So, I mean, that's impressive for the Colts. I mean, the Raiders are two and two. Still early in the season, but the we're, fucking schedule's crazy. Yeah, your your team is playing. Next crazy. week, the Raiders have to play the fucking Chiefs. Like which, we we haven't had to play. I mean, in your defense, we haven't had to play super hard teams yet. Saints, Patriots, Bills, Chiefs. I get the Chiefs are in the division, but fuck, <laughs> Chiefs are defending Super Bowl champs. I mean, Jesus Christ, and they're still that fucking good. Yeah, they are. I mean, I mean, the Raiders have come a long way, but they put on. They've had to fight through some bad team or badass teams and mm -hmm. the bills aren't where the fuck like they're just on a, a tear and like they fought them like they, they they put up a fight which is impressive and i think they have you know playoff chances like you know if they just don't do mistakes yeah but or, and get their fucking penalties yeah this is true uh but the colts won 19 to 11 and the bills beat the raiders 30 to 23 which is a better score than i thought it was going to be because it was Worse than that. <laughs> um, <laughs> That's all he's going to say. But, I mean, they tried. I mean, really, for an undefeated Bills team and the Raiders, I mean, the Bills are tough. And only lost by a touchdown. I'm, I'm okay with that. Raiders yeah. are, uh, they're showing a lot of improvement from last season. They are. It's just a tough schedule. But you're going to get those teams in the playoffs. And I, I, I'd rather face them now to get a feel for them and maybe lose now and win later. That's happened before. Yeah, true. I mean, shit. <laughs> Um, Thursday, the Broncos and the Jets. The Broncos beat the Jets, obviously. Tomorrow, uh, as, as far as I know, it's still on. The Patriots play the Chiefs and the Falcons play the Packers, which is weird to have a Monday Night Football game start at 7.05 and then the second one start at 8.50. So there's Packers. two games. They start at 7. Uh, Packers start at 8.50. Now, here's the, this, this is what sucks. I wanted the Chiefs to play the Patriots with Cam Newton. As a starting quarterback because they need that challenge you know what i mean chiefs with the patriots yeah and they're not the uh, patriots and they have the starting quarterback and cam's a really fucking good quarterback mm -hmm. and he can run he's a big dude and i uh not that i like the chiefs but i gotta respect them too even though i, I fucking hate that they're the super bowl champs in my just, fucking division you just like <clears throat> Uh, no, that's your daughter. Keep... That's your daughter. That's, that's her baby daddy, that's, and that's, then she was that's, all heartbroken. That's whenever bang. He's actually for and like a period of two weeks or three weeks, he gets engaged, and he's now he's gonna be a dad. And she's like, Bay cheated on me. <laughs> that's Bay. I'm like what? Get the fuck out of here! Don't no damn Bay. Bay cheated on me. <laughs> hey, Bay, Bay. Uh, but yes, tomorrow, tomorrow will be the ripe young age of thirty-two. It's been a, a long ride. No, it's mm -hmm. going to be the ripe young age of 39. And he's been struggling all day. That age is already catching up. Whatever. <laughs> it would have been better if I eaten. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to point to that. I'm going to point the finger to that any time other than age. <laughs> Although it might be age. But tomorrow marks... A countdown, 365 days until I turn 40. Like it's no matter, of, it's no longer a matter of years. Nope. It's it's it's, uh, it's, it's, it's less than a year. Yep. After tomorrow, I'm gonna be fucking 40. Holy shit! And you love this 40 year old cock. I do. I can but I'm not the 40 year old virgin. I very well could have been at some point. <laughs> I was that kind of guy. I was cool with video games, <laughs> chilling at home, shit. Oh, man, I hurt my finger trying to... I had a funky mishap yesterday. So, <clears throat> when you walk over our kitchen into the garage, there's a little screen door. It's a little wooden. It's got a little wooden handle. So, we went and got uh, some groceries because Mr. McStud made, like, the most amazing chili we've ever had this weekend. I think it's due to the seasoning, but her chili, oh. like, 
I wanted to eat like 16 bowls of it. One bowl was enough and I didn't want to get sick, but I could definitely have gotten sick off your chili. <laughs> but then I'd be disappointed if I had to vomit it up. Oof. Because that's some that's really that's fucking good, <laughs> really fucking good chili. It is really was, good. I was very impressed. Time. But so I was walking in with some bags and I, I, the door opens to the left. So I use my right hand with my finger. And what I typically do is use my shoulder and hit that door and I pull my finger out. Well, I got sideways with my finger in that fucking ledge and if I would have kept going, I would have like disloc broke it, broke dislocated it, it sideways. <laughs> like, or like a bitch, I'm like, ah! And you're like, babe, I'm coming. I was like, no, I was just trying to get the door for you. And it, I, I, I didn't notice anything after that. You know, and then we, we got home and we were just you know, enjoying some beverages. So I wake up this morning after she, yeah! oh. after she smacks my ass and I'm like yeah, trying to grab her. And I can hardly tighten my, pull my finger down. I'm like, what the fuck? I'm like, oh, the goddamn door. That's about to be a good thing. From the back? That's about to be a good catch. Oh, for the Eagles or the 49ers? Eagles. Eagles. Oh, well, you know. Oh, he was so close. I bet, I bet little Dickie's watching this game. Oh, look how close he was, though. Oof. There was actually some amazing catches in the NFL today between a variety of teams, um, including the Raiders and the Bills. And... Uh, it was a very good game in the air. I, heard, I, I saw another Achilles injury though this week. Yes. I'm not heard, what, not sure what team that was. That was. That team. It was the Colts team. No, it wasn't the Colts. It was it was on the TV. It showed like on the, on the bottom, like a player was out with an Achilles injury. Oh, I thought it was the one we were playing against because they got hurt and Bob told me it was Achilles. Maybe they had one too. Maybe. I'm not sure, but that's like there's a lot of Achilles injuries this yeah. season. It's kind of ridiculous. Um, I think they need to stretch more. Are you gonna help stretch it? Yeah, I like to stretch my creamy hamstrings. Oof. What? <laughs> and uh, Mr. McSud likes to like help push me down to stretch my hammies out, and then she takes some lotion <gasps> while I'm bucket naked. And she'll rub this lotion on the back of my hammies while she's pushing me back. And my butt's in her face. And then she's like to take a little lick of my crack. That's nasty. I'm trying to get that womp. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I thought. Holding. Mm-hmm. Holding. I don't hold a lot of things, but I'll hold these. Yeah. That was a complete fucking face mask. And they just called that as a holding. Well, they were holding the face mask. Bullshit. Uh, who held the face mask though? 49ers. Right, that guy they just highlighted? Yep. Right there. No. Yes, it was. That wasn't a face mask. That was under his. That's what the announcers just said. That actually wasn't. At least from my angle, it wasn't. Because right, I was looking, because that right hand side of his face mask, his hand was down here, unless he caught that face mask right at the mm -hmm. beginning. So I didn't see any face mask. His hand slipped off of it. Oh, he shouldn't have put his face mask down there. Right? You're not right. I am always right. I'm Mr. Right. Well, we got a notification. Is it Walmart? Oh, is that your update? I don't know. Who the fuck is settings and why are they call on you? <laughs> at this hour. <laughs> I get sick of like Mr. McSud trying to cheat on me all the time. Oh my god. Like, I'll be laying in bed and like two in the morning, phone call. I'm like, who the fuck's that? And it says co worker. Yeah, you're stupid. I'm like, okay, co worker. The <laughs> They're called? all named in my phone. Co -worker. And I put their ASC after it. Then there's Jake from State Farm likes to call at three o'clock in the morning all the time, too. I'm I like, Jake from State I, Farm. What he's wearing. Yeah, I'm like, seriously. So I'm like, oh. He tells me a man thong and he'll send me a picture. <laughs> I've seen those pictures. Tell them what you got on your phone earlier. Ugh, a hairy butt. I googled hairy ass totally on Google Images, and she she didn't think I had time to do it. I didn't think I had time I to do it either. I literally just walked into the kitchen, and I then I got distracted because I was because... watching the Raiders game on my phone, and you walked that way, so I was like, Phew. and you came back. I'm like, oh shit, and I kind of hid it over my sleeve, and you just kept. Oh, you went to the hallway, so I was like holding it. You couldn't see it, and then you walked in the kitchen, so I'm fucking typing in hairy ass real fast. I'm like, I keep looking back and I got my phone and I sit it down as soon as you're walking back and I have my phone in my hand. I'm like, hey babe. And the first thing you do when you grab, get on the couch is you grab your phone and she's like. 
how did you have time to do that? I was, no one even gone that long. I was like, I, did, I saved the tab you were on. I just had the new tab. Hairy, hairy ass. I mean, Miss McSud likes nothing more than a hairy ass. Seriously? Yes. That's fucking nasty. She likes when the, <laughs> when the womp is a little sweaty and the ass hair is kind of matted to the butt cheek, right? Right, baby? What? Yeah. <laughs> it said critical catch down there, and I never, oh. I don't understand that. I mean, it was critical. They needed that catch. Oh. Uh, but no, I said, uh. <clears throat> Sorry. No, you like when the womp's a little moist, sweaty, and the hair is matted down, like when you take your leg out of the bath or swimming pool and the hair is like, kind of stuck to your leg. Oof, no. Yeah, so you're like, oh, and you start rubbing it around, trying to like curl them. Oh, you're nasty. What? Mm. She'd be like, she'd be like, babe, lay down. I'm gonna give you a back rub. I'm like, okay. Next thing you know, my butt cheeks are getting squeezed, and she's like, you would like that. What? I definitely would never do that. Like that? Yeah. Oh no. I'm like, oh yes, baby. No, uh, I don't. I don't like anything near my ass, <laughs> and at all. <laughs> like that's just not a go-to for me. No. Me <laughs> I don't like to be like, even if you bump it, like it just jolts me. Like I get scared. I'm like, whoa, what the fuck's on my ass? I, I'm always has. I occasionally just go by and poke you in it though. Yeah, and like sometimes like you'll just brush me and like, babe, I didn't mean to. I'm like, eh, yeah. and like my fucking back will spasm. Sometimes yeah. I've, fallen, I've fallen down from these things. Like she just brushes my butt and I'm like, ah. I'm very gentle though whenever I poke you in your butt. You know how bad that just sounds? <laughs> <laughs> like whenever you're just been over, I realize that I can just like. Poke. This is going worse. <laughs> I'm very gentle when I poke you in the butt and when you're bent over. <laughs> Must be good. It's like, it's like I'm butt naked. I've been over. He's like, I'll be gentle, baby. Well. Then I went to a horrible fucking. <laughs> yeah, you ain't sticking your finger up my ass. You wouldn't want to anyway. No, I wouldn't. I'm going to have to fart when you try that. I ain't trying that. Thank God. Ew. Yeah, that, that, you started saying that. It was like some shit I would say. And you just kept rolling <laughs> with it. I'm like, hold up. Stop. This is getting worse. <laughs> That's my, that's my booty hole we're talking about. Like, I don't, want, I don't even want a butt rub. Like, sometimes, you know, you'll grab my ass cheeks when I'm, like, clapping them cheeks, but fuck. <laughs> that's, that's the extent of it. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's the only time my butt gets touched. <laughs> that's when I'm washing it. Or wiping it. Washing or wiping. And you don't even want to do that. No, I don't. I don't like that at all, either. <laughs> <laughs> You're so weird. But that shit gotta be clean. But you'll touch my butt all the time. Not your butthole. Oh, no. Just my butt cheeks. Oh, because I like that ass. What? <laughs> but I can't like your ass. But you, you like that, though. Oh, yeah. Okay. Bounce it, baby. Okay. I got like a this. goddamn basketball. That's what you say. Like a goddamn basketball. Stop it. Wobble, baby. Wobble, baby. Wobble, baby. <laughs> I fucking hate that song, but it came on the, uh, <laughs> oh God, I was, uh, I was switching stations the other day because I was getting tired of hearing like the same shit on our one. So I turned it to the, uh, R&B station and they're playing Wobble Baby. I'm like, fuck. All right. Going to the 80s station. We're going to go ahead and go back to the one that's <laughs> I'm, like, I'm, I'm going to do Wobble Baby. Wobble Baby, Wobble Baby, Wobble. Fucking kill me now. I taught you how to do the Wobble. No, you showed me how it's done. Well. You didn't teach me. Maybe and I didn't want to do it anyway. You can't teach someone something they don't want to learn. Yes, I can. I don't want to learn that fucking <coughs> bullshit. It's like that gas pedal bullshit. Mm. I don't like that song either. I can do that too. Yeah, that song sucks. Like, I'd, I'd rather listen to, uh, uh, I, I can't, I'd rather listen to Meat Love. Hey! What? They were just talking about where far. Mm hmm. I heard that name. That's why my head falls oh. around like that. <laughs> like, I, I like some Brett Favre, too. Brett Favre was a tough-ass quarterback. Who, uh... How many games did he play before he missed one? I have no clue. That was a lot. He has the record. I, I believe he has the record for most games started. So they were talking about something. They said Brett Favre. I was like... Favre that? was the Cal Ripken Jr. of the NFL. And that's hard to be in the NFL. Because you never know... What's going to happen? That dude was a tough motherfucker. Mm -hmm. And he took some hits. Um, and he wasn't afraid to take hits either. No. Even but, all the way until he retired. 
You know, I got gypped out of a Brett Favre rookie card when I was a kid. I didn't know who he was, and I had it. I think it was actually, I think he got drafted to the Falcons, and I had this card, Brett Favre, and I was like, I, I didn't know what it was, I didn't know how to pronounce his name. I thought it was Brett Favre. Favre. <laughs> like, literally, I was, like, in middle school, young. Like, I want that card. I'm like, okay, take it. Trade for some bullshit. A couple years later, I'm like, you should have kept that card. Yes, I'm very shitty about that one. <laughs> you like, probably I, still had that. I one. literally had a Brett Favre. Yeah, I would have been my safe. I had a Brett Favre rookie card, and I gave it up because I knew who the fucking dude was at the time. Oof. Yeah, that. I'm that, highly disappointed. Yeah, that, that that. You have four minutes to finish this video. I have four. Oh, I got three minutes. Before your alarm goes off. Mm. All right, we're at 30 minutes. Are you done? Yeah. Mm. As the countdown to finish my blood pressure medicine, <laughs> alarm goes off and I have to splice the shit. It takes longer. You should have been drinking more than that. I was running my mouth. You've been in here for fucking 30 minutes. Baiting that shit. Uh, that shit up. All right, tomorrow's the birthday video. I'll, just, I'll figure out something. Birthday video. <laughs> That's showing his age too. Fucking the ripe old age of 32. 30. I'm McStud. <laughs> I miss his McStud. Thanks for watching the McStud show. We'll catch you <clears throat> tomorrow. Deuces, bitches. Oh, titties.